Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can disable the new toxic gas zones on your private community server for PlayStation, Xbox, or PC. Big shout out to Balshad. Um, I will try and put a link to his Discord uh, in the description below the video. He has an amazing resource there with very simple, easy to follow tutorials, and importantly, easy to find tutorials about many, many subjects. And if you're into modding um, on daisy whether that be uh, pc playstation or xbox his discord is the way to go because i'd figured out how to do the dynamic um uh, gas zones how to disable them but i wasn't sure about the static ones and his discord pointed me in the right direction so thank you very much balshad um so let's get cracking cracking so first off let's look at the dynamic zones so you know they're the ones that spawn in you know over the towns and in lots of different places the artillery strikes that come in so what we want is we want the events.xml file that's the one we want to edit so if you go to your server and i'm using nitrado as an example this is a playstation server and we go to the file browser just here we click on that and then we find the missions folder so ps missions or xbox missions on pc you've got to dig down a little bit to get to the missions folder but we want to go into that directory and then we go into the chernerus because this is chernerus um server uh, it would be enoch if it was livonia so we click on that and then we go into the db folder so you click on that and then finally you get where we want to go which is we want to get to the events.xml there she is now you could edit this on the, or in the file browser if you want to it's not complicated however i'd always recommend you download the file make a backup open it in your favorite text editor save it re-upload it and then restart your server that way if you make a mistake you can always go back so let's let's have a look at the events.xml so here it is so i've opened it up already so when you're in events.xml this is notepad plus plus do control f and just look for contam c-o-n-t-a-m and that will bring you to the event so static contaminated area so this is the event that is uh, can happen in lots and lots of different places in your server and we look down the bottom it says it spawns in the contaminated area dynamic so that means you get the flare you get the sound of our distant artillery and then you get the uh, the gas strike coming in to disable this incredibly simple all you need to do change active to zero save the file re-upload it to your server and then restart your server and then the dynamic gas strikes w w will have stopped however the static ones like at riffy um, or down in this where is it it's down here pavlovo aren't they they will still be there so it's a little bit different how we how we edit those um, I'll put a link to this document um, in the description below of the video too. And this is an official uh, article by um, Bohemia Interactive that tells you how to edit actually the uh, the, the static areas, the, the continuous areas. So you can use this to add more in. Now, I'm not covering this that in this video. I'm just telling you how to get rid of them um, because just in case you want to. So... The file that uh, we're interested in is called CFG effect area .json. Now this is a file that's available on PC and console. So we can, we can edit that. So when you go back to your server, if you go back up to the main directory, if you go down, you'll see there CFG effect area .json. So that's the file that, that we want. So what you want to do is you want to download that and in fact what i'd recommend you do on on your server and if you're on a nitrado server for console because of what we're going to do what you want to do is you want to make a copy of it so you click on the copy button here and then you scroll down to the bottom and it says actions for cfg effect area .json. so you click on that and you say uh, copy here and we're going to call it i'm going to call it copy two okay and we're going to say okay then what you should then see in a second is I've got copy two. So I've got a copy of the CFG effect area .json on my server. So if I wanted to reset what I was doing here, it's incredibly easy. All I need to do is simply rename that file and get rid of the copy two and then restart. As it is, um, you'll want to download the CFG effect area JSON. So you click on that button, you download it, and then you open it up 
in your text uh, editor and it'll look something like this. And then all you'd want to do, <laughs> it's very easy, you just want to uh, select all and you just want to get rid of everything like that. Then if we go to the article, you'll see you've just got to insert those two brackets there. Now they do tell you don't include the comments because it won't work. So you just want those two squiggly brackets there. And we paste those in like that. And then we save that file um, like that. Now, oops, sorry, there it is. Save that uh, and it'll be CFG effect area dot JSON. So we save that. And then all we simply do now is then we go back to our server and we upload that file over the top of the existing one and then restart the server. And that will then disable the uh, the static zones, the permanent ones at the shipwreck and over the base or you know, if you're on Livonia at one of the other places. And that's it. So if you want to restart them again, all you've got to do as far as the, the, the static ones is just rename that copy um, uh, to CFG effect area. So get rid of the copy to and then restart and then the gas at the shipwreck will then fire up again. And then if you want um, the dynamic ones to uh, start respawning again, just go to your events, go to static contaminated area and change the active from zero to one, save that, re-upload it over the top of the other events, restart your server and they will start firing in. So there we go. So that's basically everything. Um, how, how to do it. So hopefully you found that video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I will see you again soon.